Hello, this is Albert and I'm going to talk about solutions. In the last video we were talking about psychological problems and behaviors that people experiment when they are learning languages and when they give up learning their target languages. And what can we do about these uh, uh, problems? Uh, what can we do to avoid those rational beliefs that are hurting us? Well, there are several solutions, but the one I like the most is questioning this thinking. The premises, the mast, I think it's the most important thing to, to question this mast, and their derivatives, the awful thinking, the low frustration toler tolerance, and the depreciation labels. This questioning must be active. I mean you must question, you must argue with yourself and you must dispute all this irrational thinking in a strong way. Active and strong way. You must do it uh, a lot of times, you must do it every day, you must be persistent doing that kind of questioning. How can you do that? Well, you can ask where is the logic, where is the evidence, and where is going to get you if you continue with this irrational thinking. Where is the logic? This uh, You are focusing in the, on the logic of this thinking. For example, uh, you must think about your must, uh, about you, you, others, or um, the situation, the language learning situation. And for example, if you think you must succeed in learning Spanish, English, Mandarin, or whatever, you ask yourself why you should succeed. What's the logic? Just because you want something to happen, it does not logically follow that it must happen. It's not rational. You can't ask uh, for the evidence. You are focusing on empiricism. Uh, where is the evidence? If you want to succeed and you don't, it means that there isn't a law in the universe that makes you succeed, that makes this come true. So this is uh, irrational thinking as well. And the last uh, question, focus on pragmatism, where is believing that you must succeed going to get you? Other than anxious, depressed, or anxious, depressed, or angry. And to the behaviors of uh, uh, being uh, giving up, or, or being ag aggressive, or nitpicking, or whatever. Well, all this is very important because um, uh, you can follow all these all these arguments uh, again and again, and if you are persistent, you will succeed. Well, you can do the same with the awful thinking, the low frustration toler uh, tol tolerance. So that I cannot stand uh, this or the depreciation levels against you, others, or the situation, the language learning situation. Uh, sometimes th there is a confusion between the must and the preferences. Uh, I must learn Mandarin, or I prefer to learn Mandarin. What's the difference uh, between the two uh, situations, the two uh, st statements? Well when I say that I prefer it's something uh, flexible but when I say I must uh, it's something dogmatic it's uh, too rigid and when I fail I feel very bad but when I prefer something I feel bad but not, but not so bad uh, for example when I ask uh, why do you must succeed learning 
Mandarin, the people can answer you that well, uh, I will be more happy because I will earn more money. It would be good for my business or for my education or whatever. But if you think about this, uh, this person is answering about their preferences. Yes, maybe it's true that he will be. It will be better for him to learn. Mandarin and to talk like a native speaker, but it it he, he must not succeed because there isn't any law in the universe that makes this come true. So it's very important to differentiate between the between the two um, statements and between the two kind of thinking because it's very 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 different. Well. Uh, what do we have? What 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 what's our goal? Our goal is to develop to develop a new rational thinking, a new philosophy. Hmm? Uh, first, we want to develop preferences when we think about language learning or anything. I would, uh, I will say to myself that I prefer to learn languages. I prefer to learn Mandarin or Spanish or whatever. But there is no reason in the universe that I must succeed or I must do it. Uh, it's important. Then the derivatives. Uh, this new rational thinking it's about anti awfulizing thinking if I don't succeed or if it's difficult for me or I feel bad because uh, it's not so easy to learn Mandarin or Spanish or French I can think that it's annoying it's bad but it's not horrible but it's not horrible I can be happy I doesn't, uh, life doesn't finish I can't follow my my life and I can be reasonable uh, I can be happy uh, with that we want to develop a higher frustration tolerance uh, if you remember when we feel bad we say I can't I cannot stand this it's if I don't succeed learning Mandarin talking like a native speaker I can't stand it because it's horrible well maybe I don't like this I don't like this but 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 I can stand it because no, no, nothing it's 100% bad and life continues and well something good can come from some bad situation so this is the kind of thinking that we want to develop to develop acceptance 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 we refuse to condemn people we refuse to condemn ourselves we refuse to condemn other people or we refuse to condemn the situation the language learning situation uh, because we can't level anything uh, w you, you can't level anything in a global way because we, we are fallible human beings if we are changing um, uh, maybe I behave badly sometimes but other times I am very good or, uh, may maybe sometimes you can speak Mandarin very well and sometimes you can speak bad and well you are not good a good person when you speak well and you are not a bad person when you speak bad it's important to 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 think about all this because it's very important yeah? it's very important because you need to be persistent question uh, you need to be persistent questioning and disputing all these uh, irrational beliefs and thinking to develop this new 
rational thinking. And what happens if uh, you feel better and then you fail? Well, it, uh, you don't need to succeed. You don't. You must not uh, succeed, or you, you don't need uh, to be always good on this. Please don't make another problem with these techniques. Uh, you only need to repeat the questioning and dispute your irrational beliefs and you will succeed that's for sure okay I th hope this is useful for for you and I hope I I'll see you soon thank you bye bye